Yo, what's awesome, you guys? It's the Mercenary, and welcome back to another GT Online video. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Executives and other Criminals update. In today's update, we're going to feature some new weapons here, like such as a new flashlight, as well as a new machine pistol, and a new meat cleaver, which I like to call the machete. And as we scroll to the right top here, you'll notice that there's a new switchblade weapon here, which is quite a, actually familiar with a lot of people, and a new revolver, which we can all call Dirty Harry. So I decided to take this gun now for a test run, but since I had no players to experiment on, I just decided, decided to shoot the random public. So we probably know that they're really easy to kill. So I decided to take it on cops, which they seem to have some kind of formidability, but I did this in first person, and surprisingly enough, is um, I'm surprised that my shot was really on fire, but even though I've got the auto-aim on. And if this wasn't bad enough, I actually tested this against a bunch of uh, helicopters because uh, it, ta it takes a while to actually aim for them and stuff. So I decided to test on this guy, and I did this in third person because I'm used to using third person mode. But one shot, and that guy was just down. So the range on this must be really excellent. And then, so as I'm being shot by other police officers here, I need to take uh, proper aim and coverage. So uh, by this time, the helicopter is already down and turned around. So therefore, I can get a clear shot on him. And then I end the clap here because I just totally get wasted. So if you head to the clothing store for the female side, we'll head down to the bikini bottoms, and you'll notice that there is six new bikini bottoms. The floral bikini, Blossom, Perseus, Sasanta, the Sheen, and the Dix bikini. That sounds really odd, doesn't it? But <laughs> either way, uh, it's pretty awesome. And um, they all cost a lot of money. More than you would actually pay for retail clothes, which is ridiculous. But nonetheless, we go to the uh, tops here, and they've actually put in loungewear, which is very awesome. And loungewear consists of a bunch of house coats, which you can then wear on a yacht when we get to that point. And I believe there is a whole new section on its own, so basically 26 new items. And as we scroll along here, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> White silk pajamas. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it for that. So, as we move on. So what you want to do is pull up your phone and go to the interwebs. From here you want to navigate to the travel and transport, and from here you want to go down to legendary motorsports. Here you'll find 9 new vehicles which Rockstar has added. And they go as follows. Now I can only pronounce the Imponti Nightshade Bravado Valier and the Declossi Mamba, but the other ones I'm having a little bit of trouble pronouncing, so I'll just let the names describe themselves. So, nine new vehicles in total, and I have a friend here, unfortunately, who blocked my view, which is no big deal. So, with that said and done, it looks pretty cool, just another way to make more money and to afford these awesome vehicles. And from here, we go to War Stock and Cash and Carry, and you'll notice that there is a turreted limo, which to us looks badass because we couldn't even purchase the limo, but $1.6 million? That can't be bad, right? Right. Now what you want to do is scroll to the Dynasty 8 app here, where we've, if we view property listings. Now give or take, I counted 29 new properties, which can now be purchased on here that Rockstar has allowed us to do, and we can now own a total of 5 new properties. The most being ranging from 905,000 and working its way down. But for me, I actually own three apartments, so I can actually get a huge discount towards one. So making this cost a lot less. And because I do actually have enough money to afford it, but not a whole bunch, it makes it really, really easy to afford. And I can actually take you guys to a tour of it one day, which will be hopefully soon. So with this said and done here, it'll actually tell you what each house can actually stow of how many vehicles so right now it looks like most of them can stow 10 which is really awesome because we have like a lot of vehicles we want to purchase but even though some of them are really expensive we'd like nothing more than a huge garage space to uh, stow them in so they take the liberty of making most of these houses a 10 car garage so if you multiply that by how many properties you have let's say five you'll have like 50 cars and 10 in each one so that, that's a really nice addition I like that so uh, this, this kind of goes on for a little while here, and it kind of goes on to the properties which I think I remember being in there, but most of them I do, don't remember, so the ones I'm doing a circle on are the ones that I count as being new, because I don't remember seeing them. So as I like to scroll, scroll along,
And now for the last but not least, the Dock Tees, which is Rockstar's biggest DLC add-on, the Galaxy Super Yachts. And yes, this will be the most expensive investment you'll make, as the cheapest one begins at a mega $6 million, beginning with the Orion. Now there's three to choose from here, so if we go to the PCs, you'll notice that it is actually $7 million. And last but not least, the Aquarius at a whopping $8 million. Now to the left here, we have a little slideshow based upon each yacht we choose, of which one each one features, so we can better make our decision on which one. Now since I don't really have the money to do this, or to purchase it, I'll have to actually find a friend to make a video with, and see just how these things are, so whether they are only stationary only, or whether you can actually move it uh, across the water. But nonetheless, once I do figure that out, I'll be sure to bring a video by about it on how everything works, along with many other things I've yet to afford, which I don't quite at this moment, so uh, that's pretty much all there is to rocks that are big, big as DLC. I know I have the mail side of the feature yet, but nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.